All right, just taken delivery of a uh, pre-built computer from Scam. Um, not Scam, Scan. Uh, it's an entry level computer and I'm excited to open it up because this is my first computer that I've ever bought pre-built and pre-installed with Windows 11. So this is for the daughter. Um, like I say, it's pre-entry. It was, uh, let me have a look at the details. It's a GeForce 350 entry level gaming computer with a Raison 5 16 gig of DDR4, uh, 8 gig NVIDIA RTX 3050 and a 1 terabyte M.2 SSD with Windows 11. Um, yeah, Bob's on the copy as normal. Right, let's get it opened up and let's see how well they package it and we're going to fire it up. I'm just going to plug it into the back of the telly. Uh, just to see if it works because I'm not taking it all the way out to the daughter's place if it does work, obviously. So let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Oh, it's a massive box, it's bigger than me. Nice bit of packing. Lovely bit of packing, look at this. Got an airbed in there, I didn't order that. Whoa. tower out right? so the tower is in another box inside and we'll see if we've got anything in the bottom and more packaging yeah that 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 came yeah it floated in on air by the oh we've got uh we have got the motherboard box very nice uh graphics card box not so much so you slipped up there scan um if I want to resell the graphics card and up upgrade it, uh, the box would have been nice. Right, let's mush that out the way. And the packaging. Get that out the way. But yeah, very well packaged. So, we've got the uh, Asus Tough Gaming A520M plus Wi-Fi. There is a Wi-Fi antenna. Various bits and pieces, mountain stuff. We've even got a CD very rare we don't normally get cds with uh, motherboards anymore um we've got some sata cables and we've got a power lead and obviously user's manual nobody reads that um oh and we've also got a bluetooth dongle that's quite rare too nice all right let's unwrap that one power lead obviously we're going to need a power lead and uh, let's get it unboxed right there's nothing in there we really need chuck that over there and we'll get into the bad boy where's my knife gone pointing out the window there she is polystyrene and static all right, let's get her out upside down, but it doesn't matter. Hopefully they've got expanded foam or some sort of uh, non- Yeah, there's the box. Basically, it's a Antec case. Um, I think it's got RGB as well, but we're looking at a mid-tower. Um, ABS plastic, yeah. Uh, we've got a reset button on it. We've got a power button on it. Um, and the dimensions are 420, 210 by 42. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's a it's a standard case basically, and there's a breakdown of the case. And we have got RGB lighting in it, yeah. That'll make her happy. <laughs> so yeah, it's a pretty standard case by the look of it, but the stuff inside of what I'm concerned with, and I want to make sure that if we get all this gear off, that it actually works. Wrap it, unpack it. There we go. There she is. Uh, yeah, we've got a fly mesh on the top, magnetic. Nice bit of packaging inside. I can see the plastic in there. A couple of USB 3s, a power button, 
Um, we've also got microphone headphones. Uh, that'll be a reset and that'll be another, well, no, that's a mode buttoner. That could be for the RGB lighting, I don't know. But yeah, it looks quite nice. So if we open her up, we've got a tempered glass panel. We've got a warning. Do not go in this PC if you don't know what you're doing. Tempered glass, please handle with care. So we've got four thumb screws and the glass is not gonna come off like that. I'm gonna have to stand it up and just lean it out. There she comes. And then put her back down again. There we go. Uh, we've got a CX550 power pack. Now, that graphics card that we've got in here, the GeForce RTX 350, demands a minimum of a 550 power pack. So they've got away with cutting corners there. They put in the bulk standard power pack that, that will do the job, but what's this for? Remove all double wrap from powering your system on. Yeah, well, that's, that's a given really. Okay. Packaging wise, yep, they've used concertina airbags by the look of it. Very nice. I like the way that they've packed it and I like the way they've built it. Look at that, that's very min minimalistic. Can't even say it. So we're looking at the uh, Razion. Two gigs of uh, Corsair, two gigs, two sticks of Corsair, 16 gig. You've got the GeForce graphics card. That's a lot smaller than a Zantec. A lot smaller than I was expecting. And we've got a solid, day, what's that? Solid Digim, whatever. P4 OnePlus M.2. So this bad boy should boot up really fast. Right, what we'll do is we'll put the case back on. I'm not gonna peel any of this because this is gonna be, um, <coughs> there's, there's Jack. <laughs> Got to get in on it, Emmy Jack. Um, uh, yeah, this is the daughter's machine, and I'm going to give her the pleasure of unpeeling all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is plug the power in. I'm going to plug an HDMI lead into it, into the back of the uh, TV behind me, and we're going to power it up. I'm going to chuck a, uh, a keyboard on it and a mouse, and just see what Windows 11 looks like. Please. I don't think I've even seen, because I'm still running 10. Um, I would have preferred this machine to have 10, but she said she's happy with 11, so. And I need a coffee. Got the bulk up, look. <laughs> mm. Right. Okay, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. I've got a power lead here. So I'm gonna plug that in over here. Not with the plastic on, we're not. Right, we'll put that in there, and then we'll put that in the back of there. We've got a switch is in the off position. Power lead won't reach. We'll stick that in there. Keyboard and a mouse. So I've just got an old random keyboard. Nothing special. I think it's a Dell one. Yeah, it is. It's an old Dell keyboard. We're going to whop that in the back. So basically on the top, you've got your round mouse and keyboard combo, which is nice to see. They still kept that. We have got onboard graphics. Um, we've got the aerial for the Wi-Fi. We've got, uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at HDMI and, yeah, we've got an HDMI out and we've also got a... What is that? Oh, that's the new, um, I can never remember the name. <sighs> What's the name port for the, for the, <laughs> for the monitor? What's it called? HDMI plus the new HDMI. Read the instruction book. Can't, can't think. Yeah. <laughs> It'll tell me here. I know what it is. I just can't think of the name. It is. Uh, nobody reads these. Hmm. Here we go. No, 
show because it'll be on the graphics card. We haven't got the graphics card book, have we? Won't be there, will it? <laughs> it's the, it'll come to me in a minute. Right, I've got a mouse, I've got a light speed. Um, I'm gonna plug that in the back as well, just for the mouse. Turn it around there, we'll put the motherboard in the front. Can you put the <laughs> motherboard key? Yeah, all right, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Keyboard in front, we'll power up the TV. I've got an HDMI lead here somewhere. And like I say, all we're doing is just firing it up, just testing it, just to see if it works before I actually take it out to her. So HDMI into the back of there. Power on. There we go. This, this could be great or this could be really disappointing. <laughs> My first ever pre-built machine. Turn the socket on, Bob, that helps. <laughs> Power on. Try again. Ooh. We have lights. Pretty. We have no signal yet on the telly. Are we going to get a signal on the telly? Well, I like the RGB. No, we should have a signal on the telly by now. What am I plugged into? <sighs> We're plugged into onboard graphics instead of the graphics card. All right. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> right, hang on a minute. We'll, we'll use the graphics card. If I can. <coughs> we have a signal. <laughs> It does help when you plug it in the right place. Uh, UK, yeah? Have uh, we got a mouse? Set up your device using a screen reader. Turn what? on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U. Or Bit needy, in there. Accessibility icon in the bottom corner. Just press yes. Uh, no, we need to go down on that, don't we? Uh, what's this for? The right keyboard layout, input method? No, we want to go down to English, isn't it? British, UK, United Kingdom. There we go. Yes. Uh, want to add a second keyboard? No, skip. Do you remember in the old days, we, we used to have, when you, when you bought a, or built a machine, you had to buy a copy of Windows. Not anymore, they just chuck it in for free now. Um, we're looking at, yeah, um, we don't want to connect to that. Can I go down to next? Because we don't really, we're not plugged into the internet or anything. I can't. Um, it's going to ask me to connect. All right, hang on a minute. What I'll do is I'll connect it up and because uh, there's passwords and all that crap, right? And we'll connect it up and we'll see what we're doing. All right, back in a minute. Yeah. Right, we've put in the uh, Wi-Fi because obviously Windows 11 doesn't want to go anywhere unless it's got the internet. So now it's um, connecting, no signal. It's probably doing a shutdown restart, I would imagine. To fire up the Wi-Fi, here we go. Scan, there you are, scan with an N, not an M. <laughs> Windows 11's booting, yes. And like I say, this machine was only 679 plus VAT. So very cheap, uh, free delivery, uh, turns up within two days and I always get my stuff from scan. I'm not advertising them I just like to use them because they are so good. Please review the license agreement. Yeah, read it enter um, Yeah, so I'm, I'm well pleased with it. It's quiet. I can't even hear it. It's not under load or anything. Don't get me wrong, but I can't hear it Come on, do your thing. What's all this? This is this is all new to me. This is Windows 11 stuff, isn't it? I, I, I don't even know what yeah, fancy plugging it into the onboard graphics instead of the graphics card. Right, where's my coffee? Look, my cup's changing colour. It's a heat sensitive one. It's a YouTube one as well. As seen on TV. Who's now? Mm hmm. Unlock your Microsoft experience. Sign in. Done. Uh, next. Done. No, I can't do any of that. Uh, enter. No, I don't want to do any of that. Next. 
uh, create one sign in options. Um, does it not let you just start it up without all this fancy? No, it's not going to. It wants an email or a phone or a Skype. Uh, enter a valid email address, phone number, or yeah, they don't want much, do they? Well, we've gone through all the rigmarole of Windows 11, putting in passwords and all the rest of it, Microsoft rubbish and all that crap, and uh, had to phone my daughter up to find out all this stuff because it's not our PC. And now I think we're actually into Windows. Skip. So skip that rubbish and uh, see if we can get a desktop. Uh, mm, yeah, right, okay, uh, skip. Use your phone from your PC. No, she can do all that later. Don't back up my files. Next. Tell you what, it's, it's a good half an hour of rubbish just to, just to get it working. Uh, continue with knowing your left important. No, no. Next. Oh, come back to the days of 98 when you just turned it on and it worked. Right. Decline. Decline. Continue. Decline. Oh. Skip. <laughs> That's just games. Hello. We've got a ding dong ding dong. Mm -hmm. There we are. We've got a desktop. <coughs> Obviously, it's a little bit out of spec because it's just on the TV. It's not on a monitor, um, which we will, we will take later on today and set it all up. But we have a Windows 11 working PC. Um, it, it's um, Display Port. I knew I'd get it in the end. I just came <laughs> HDMI and Display Port. Of course, I know what it is. Um, so, yeah, we've got a um, entry level gaming machine for 679 from Scan and um, have a quick look inside, and I think that'll do us. So, I'm just going to lie it down. And then we can just scan the camera on the inside and have a quick look around. Right, so we've got a bit of RGB going on down there, on the front, obviously. And inside... Oh, drop the camera. Yeah, drop the camera right in and... And, uh, yeah. All, I wanted to open it up just to check that all the fans were working. I didn't really have a look, but it's very tidy. It's a very tidy machine. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. That's my unboxing of a pre-built and pre-installed computer from Scan Computers. And I'm very happy with it. Cheers for now, guys.